Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While you can always edit an item's price within the item list, by simply opening up the edit item window, and then changing the price directly within that window. You can also change the price of multiple items within your item list simultaneously. If you would like to do this, just select Customers from the menu bar, and then simply choose the Change Item Prices command. That will open the Change Item Prices window. Here you can use the Item Type drop-down to filter the list to show only items that you've created within the item list that match the item type you select, Service, Inventory Part, Non-Inventory Part, or Other Charge. You can then click into the leftmost column next to any items for which you want to change the price to mark them with a check. You can check or uncheck the Mark All checkbox to assist you in your selection if needed. Now once you've selected the item whose prices you wish to change, you can either type an amount or a percentage, in which case you must use a percent sign, into the Adjust Price of Marked Items by Amount or Percent text box. Then use the Adjacent drop-down to select whether you're marking it up based on the unit cost or the current price. Below that, you can use the Round Up to Nearest drop-down to select how to round the amounts that are calculated. You can select a choice from the listing shown, or you can enter your own rounding specifications. To actually adjust the pricing, then click the Adjust or the Markup button, as it's called in 2003 through 2005, to adjust the pricing of the selected items. After you do that, you should see the new amounts shown in the New Price column. Notice that this is a white column, so you can just click into the column and type in new prices if you want to as well. Now in order to set the prices shown in the new price column, click the OK button at the bottom of this window to close and save your pricing changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.